Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. Does an estate pay capital gains tax? When someone passes away, their estate encompasses all assets and liabilities they leave behind. This estate is typically managed by an executor or personal representative. One critical question that arises is whether the estate must pay capital gains tax. To understand this, it is essential to know what capital gains tax is and when it applies. Capital gains tax is a tax on the profit realized from the sale of a non-inventory asset. This could include stocks, bonds, real estate, and other valuable items. The tax is calculated based on the difference between the asset's purchase price and its sale price. When an individual dies, their assets receive A step-ups in basis. This means the asset's value is adjusted to its fair market value at the date of death. This adjustment can significantly reduce the capital gains tax liability. For example, if a deceased person purchased a property for $100,000 and it is worth $300,000 at their death, the new basis becomes $300,000. If the estate sells the property shortly after the death, the capital gains tax might be minimal or non-existent, given the stepped-up basis. However, if the asset appreciates further after the date of death and is then sold, the estate may owe capital gains tax on the appreciation. The estate itself may also be subject to estate taxes, depending on its total value. Estate taxes are different from capital gains taxes and have their own set of rules and exemptions. It is crucial for the executor to understand both types of taxes to manage the estate effectively. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.